Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Dennis. So you've downloaded Unigen Heaven Benchmark. You go to double click it and you're faced with this message. Now, after you get that message, what do you do? Well, interesting you should ask. I went put this back over here and I went to do some searching. And what I found out was for whatever reason, the Microsoft Visual C++ 2010 Redistributable Package times 86, I, I probably can't see that, but that's what I'm telling you, um, wasn't there. For whatever reason, wasn't there. This is from Microsoft's own website, so you want to make sure. And there's a download right here. It says click here to download manually, which is exactly what you want to do. I will put this link here in the description. So there it is on the top in blue. I'll put that in the description. Don't worry about it. So here's what you need to do. So you're going to come down here where it says, thank you for downloading Microsoft Visual C++ 2010 redistributed packages. It says click here to download manually. It's going to come here. You're going to open it and you're going to follow the scripts and just agree to everything. Okay. Does you want to repair or remove? We're going to go repair. Now, if this is my second time doing it, so that's why I'm getting this message because it's already on there. If you hadn't already done it, it would just say, do you want to install? Okay. So you are just going to click next, go through, follow all the prompts. And then when you're done, I'm just going to cancel this because like I say, I've already done this. That's how I found out it worked. I'm going to go back to our heaven benchmark here and double click it. And now it's going to come up and we'll be able to run it, do our test, all that kind of good stuff. Okay, so if you happen to be doing that and you get that error message, follow the link I'm going to put in the description. Go in, do the install. So you're going to download it, you're going to install it, click the prompts as you go along, and then you should be able to run the program after that. Hope that helps somebody. If you like it, hit that like. If you don't, you know what to do. Stay tuned for the next video by hitting that bell for future notifications. Stay tuned for the next one. Thank you very much.